Hello there everybody, I am Tadashi Mori and in this video here I will show you how to make this origami Pikachu. It's my own design and this one here is made with one yellow Taiyuryu paper glued in a black tissue paper. And the size is about 25 cm or 10 inches. This one is a high intermediate origami, so although it looks simple, it's not easy to make it. So prepare a good paper and let's start! So as this origami here is a little bit complex, you may need a big paper at least 8 inches or 20 centimeters and this side here will be the yellow side and the other side is going to be the black side of the paper so you need a paper with color on both sides one yellow and one black so start by folding the paper along the diagonal along both diagonals okay now unfold the paper and fold like this and pinch here the side of the paper in half okay and the model will look like this now make a fold from this point up to this point here okay so you don't need to make all the fold just pinch here the middle it's the most important part okay and the model will look like this okay now make a fold bringing this point here up to this point here fold the whole model and the model will look like this now fold here making this point go up to this point here and the model will look like this now do the same thing here on the other side and unfold both sides now inside reverse this fold here so basically you just have to open the model a little bit and fold along this line to inside adjust here the folds So everything is aligned. And do the same thing here on the other side. Now fold here making this side of the paper go up to the middle line. unfold and do the same thing here on the other side unfold again and you're going to fold here making a valley fold along this line making a fold similar to the tsuru base to the crane base Okay, so the model will look like this, right? Now fold here, making this point go up to this point here. And fold this flap upward like this. And this part here is going to be the face of the Pikachu okay now fold here this flap downward making this point here go up to this point here now 
Now do the same thing here on the other side. Okay. Now turn the bundle over and make here a valley fold along this line here. Okay, and at the same time you make this valley fold, you're going to fold here from this point up to this point here. So, a fold in this direction. And do the same thing here on this side. So, close here both sides at the same time. Okay, and the model is going to look like this. Okay, now make here a fold, making here this line go up to the middle line. And do the same thing here on the other side. Okay, and the model will look like this. Now fold here this flap upward and fold making this line here go up to the middle line. Fold strongly and unfold this last fold and you are going to inside reverse this fold. So open the model a little bit Okay, the model is going to look like this. Now, you have to make here a mountain fold along this first line here. Okay, so a mountain fold along this line here, and a valley fold along this, this, and this line here. And this is going to be the inside reverse fold. Okay, so the model should look like this right now. Okay, so fold here this flap downward and do the same thing here on the other side. So fold the side of the paper up to the middle line, unfold the paper and inside the reverse fold again. So open the model a little bit and fold this last fold to inside just like this okay and the model will look like this now unfold this flap And fold, making here a belly fold from this point here to this point here. Now unfold the paper and fold, making this point go up to this point here. Okay, now unfold the paper again and make a fold from this point up to this point here. Ok, 
okay, like this, and do the same thing here on the other side. So from this point to this point. Okay, now unfold the paper. So now turn the model over and you are going to pull here this inner layer forward like this, making a fold along this line. Okay. So the fold should look like this. Now do the same thing here on the other side. Okay, and unfold the paper. And the model will look like this. Now fold here, making this line here go up to this line and this one up to this line here. So it's going to be like this. Right? Now do the same thing here on the other side. Alright, and the model will look like this. Okay, so now turn the model over, fold here this flap upward and fold making this line here go up to the middle line. Okay, like this, unfold and you're going to make an open sink fold. So it's something like this. You open the model a little bit and reverse all the folds of this last fold we just made. So you can reverse and make this layer go to inside, just like this. Okay, so the model will look like this. Okay, so let's do the same thing here on the other side. So fold this flap to the left and do the same thing here. So fold this line up to the middle line. Okay, unfold the paper and make an open sink. So open the model a little bit and make a mountain fold along this line, this, this and this line here. Okay, so after you make the sink fold, the model will look like this. Okay, now make here a valley fold about this much here on this top flap. And as you can see here, the line is not parallel to the middle line. Okay, so it has a small angle here. Now fold this tip here to inside 
just like this okay and fold this other tip covering here all these layers okay so do the same thing here on the other side fold making a small angle okay fold this tip to inside and fold the top part also covering two layers Okay, now fold here, okay, making this line go up to the middle line, okay, like this. Now pull here this strapped layer. Squash the model like this. Now do the same thing here on the other side. So fold up to the middle line. Now pull here the trapped layer and fold the top part just like this. Okay, and the model will look like this. Okay, now you're going to make here a valley fold. Okay, so this part here is going to be a little bit tricky. And you have to make two folds at the same time. So, you have to fold here all this layer in half. Okay, like this. And at the same time, you're going to make a fold exactly here. So I don't know if you can see it, but you have to fold up to this point here. Okay. So let me show, let me show here the inner part. So you can see the fold. So it's going to look like this. Right? Now make a fold from this point up to this point here. Fold strongly and unfold. And you have this triangle here. Okay. Now make a fold like this. Make this valley fold and make two small mountain folds really close to the other two folds we just made. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Okay, now fold everything in half. Right? And the model will look like this. Okay, so now let's make here. Okay, so now we are going to make here a valley fold like this. Just to spread here the ears of the Pikachu. It's going to look like this, right? Now do the same thing here on the other side. And it's going to look like this. Okay, now fold here this bottom part almost up to this point here, this line here. Okay, as you can see, it's really close, but it's not really 
getting to this line and make here a valley fold along this line here okay the model will look like this this paper here is not really good so it's not holding the shape really well so with a better paper you can make a way better result so now fold this point up to this point here okay so just make here a valley fold like this okay now do the same thing here on the other side Let me fold the ears again. Okay, so the model should look like this. Okay, so now we are going to fold here hold the paper, hold the model like this and make a fold, make a valley fold here on this top flap aligning here with this other layer okay, now fold all the way to the top like this okay and as you can see the model is not going to lie flat so Pull here all these layers and fold and also make here a valley fold okay and the top part you're going to squash here this top part like this okay and the model will look like this now do the same thing here on the other side so just make here a valley fold and another valley fold here on these three layers squash the top part and that's it okay the ear is going to look like this Okay, now make here, fold here this flap forward like this, do the same thing here, so fold this flap forward, right, and you're going to pull here this inner layer, so pull here this, this inner part, Okay, and fold downward just like this okay I don't know if you can see it but it's going to be a fold just like this and you're going to make here a mountain fold along this small flap so this is just to make here the details this detail on the back of the Pikachu so do the same thing here on the other side and pull here this inner flap this inner layer to outside and make here a small mountain fold along this tip here okay and the model should look like this okay just adjust here to make both sides symmetrical the model will look like this 
Okay, so now you're going to make here a valley fold along this line here and this line here at the same time. So pay close attention here to this part because you're going to fold along this second line here and not along this first line. Okay? So make here this outside reverse fold. Okay, and the model will look like this. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to pull here this inner layer. Okay. And make here a valley fold along this line here. Okay, and the model is going to lie flat like this. Okay, so now you're going to fold here, making this line go up to this line here. Okay, now unfold and open here this layer. Okay, and the model will look like this. Right. Okay, so now let me zoom in the camera to make it easier for you to see the details on the next step. Okay, so make here a valley fold along this line here. And at the same time you make this valley fold, you're going to make here another fold from this point up to this point here. Okay. Now make here a valley fold like this and unfold the paper. Alright, now you're going to unfold here. Carefully you're going to pull this top layer, reverse this fold here. So you're going to make a, a mountain fold along this line. And at the same time, you're going to press here this point of the paper and reverse it. Okay, and carefully make here a valley fold along this inner line here. And the model will look like this. Right? Okay, so now you have to pull this small layer here like this and reverse this fold here so you're going to make a mountain fold along this line here so carefully make here a mountain fold okay like this Now, just fold here this inner layer to inside and the model will look like this. Okay, now pull here this small layer from inside Okay, like this. And as you can see, I just made here the second line on the back of the Pikachu. Now do the same thing here on the other side. So pull the inner layer, reverse fold again. Okay. 
Okay, this. Open this small pocket here. Okay, just fold here precisely. Now make here a valley fold. Like this. Now unfold here this layer a little bit, press this point to reverse this this layer. Okay, the model is going to look like this. Now pull this small layer, this small flap, and reverse fold, making here a mountain fold. Okay, squash the model. And fold here this layer to inside. just like this and make and pull here this small layer from a small flap here from inside just to make this mark here on the back of the Pikachu okay so the model is going to look like this now you're going to fold here making this line here go to this line here. Okay, so carefully fold here both layers together like this. Unfold. Now you're going to inside reverse fold along this line okay so it's going to be like this you just have to open here the model a little bit and make here a mountain fold along this line here this this and this line here okay and at the same time press here the inner part and the model will look like this okay so now you're going to open here this back part of the tail okay spread here these two layers okay and make a valley fold here on both both sides at the same time so you you're basically reversing here the tail okay and it's going to look like this okay now carefully you have to hold here the tail like this and start to fold here making the tail point forward like this okay it's going to look like this now you're going to outside reverse fold about this much here well there's no reference point so just try to make something similar to this one okay so fold about this much now make here another 
outside reverse fold like this okay and one more outside reverse fold like this okay so the model is going to look like this now you have to fold here along this line here okay now inside reverse like this and you're going to fold here this flap to inside so you're going to hide this layer this small flap inside the tail okay it's going to look like this okay so now make here a valley fold like this okay from this point up to this point here okay now pull here a small part of this inner layer okay and the model should look like this okay so now you have to reverse fold this last fold we made so you can hide a small part here inside the tail okay and it's going to look like this okay now you're going to fold here this small tip upward like this okay unfold now fold here to inside of the tail we're basically hiding here small parts of these layers okay so again do the same thing here on this last layer so fold here these tips to inside of the tail and in the end it's going to look like this okay now turn the model over and do the same thing here so let me show again how to make it make here this belly fold pull here a small part of this inner layer okay squash the model now you can leave it like this but it's better to reverse this last fold okay so unfold here a little bit and make a mountain fold along the last fold and the tail will look like this right now fold here this tip upward like this unfold and just fold to inside I just fold upward once to make it easier to fold to inside but it's it's also okay to just fold to inside like this directly okay and the tail is going to look like this okay now press here these layers and fold to inside like this okay right now hold here the paper like this and make a curve here in this part of the model just to make the effect of of le the legs of the Pikachu like this and do the same thing here on the other side okay so 
basically that's it the origami is done this paper here is not really good so it's not holding the shape really well but I hope you could understand now this one here was made with a better paper it's a yellow tie on paper glued in a black tissue paper and the result looks way better because it's way thinner and it holds the shape a lot better so that's it i hope you like this video if you like the video please don't forget to click on the like button or to subscribe in my channel so thanks for watching see you bye bye